Hello, hello, hello. I have been uh, looking through our book that we're writing, and I need a picture between here and here. So we're painting this storyboard. So between here and here, I need a picture. And um, it's of the tree trunk. So that's what we're going to go with now. Is that a, no, that's not a shadow there. Hello, hello. Morton is going to be reading <laughs> and saying any kind of silly Scottish words anybody wants to hear. We were just having, we were just having some fun making oh, some TikToks. Hey, Jill. Oh, my gosh. We were cracking up so much. We were just cracking up so much. <laughs> Our granddaughter was out here and we were having a we were just having a good old laugh. Okay, so I'm gonna paint we're gonna paint the door of our fairy house. So I want to get some color put around here to be our edge of the our edge of the page like we have been doing. And I'm not going to show you through all the pictures right now. This is the last one that I'm going to be painting for the evening, I think. Our granddaughter's doing a little Jill bit of schoolwork. <laughs> Thank you for the heart, me. And look, I got a new phone holder. I can use two hands. I am. And I'm loving the new phone holder. Oh my gosh. I'm super happy. Super, super happy. So down here just going to go with a little bit of that color. I'm just putting, just painting this edge on. I've put it on all the pages. So down here, what we're doing down here, we're painting our fairy door in the bottom of the tree, but um, people can't see it. Only other fairies can see it and it just becomes invisible. To our eyes because you know we always forget to see the magic the 8th we always of October, do yes. yeah we're going home the 8th of October well the 9th of October will be there so I'm just going to introduce some yellow here because I want this to pop we'll just around our little corners we'll just soften our little corners up with a little bit of yellow. It's 950 miles, I think. Yeah, we're going to go halfway. Sunday night, we're going to go halfway to uh, Asheville, North Carolina. We're going to spend the night in Asheville. And then the next day, we're going to go to the Biltmore House. And then the next, uh, or after the Biltmore House, we're just going to drive right home. Hi, Denise. <laughs> we won't get home till after dark. But we will be sleeping in our own beds on Monday. Next, not this coming Monday, next. And it has been a long time. Hasn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going for our tree. Going for our tree because we need to do our tree, fairy door here. So I think I'm going to first paint in the shape of our fairy door. And let's go back and refer to here on the book. Yep, a little pointed top. Yep, a little pointed top. It is Priscilla Melissa. What is? It was uh, your name. Oh. It's Priscilla. It is. Yeah, she misses the walks. Misses the walks? Bon bon. Oh, yes little bonbon so I'm gonna put some steps coming up here for a little fairy and remember we don't see these because we don't look some people do and in our story in our story our little fairy she's gonna be seen by someone this year this season, while she's painting the leaves, someone's going to spot her. I'm excited. Yeah. The story, the story um, is really coming along lovely, I think. 
I think it's coming along real lovely. Mrs. Doyle's probably dreading us getting back <laughs> for Bonbon. Oh, well, Bonbon hasn't been upstairs. Oh, you got TGI uh, Friday. TGI, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are, um, I'm going to scoot this sign over so you can see. We are writing, illustrating, stay, and publishing a book on our lives, on our TikTok lives. So make sure you're tapping that screen, tappy tap, tap, tap. And um, make sure you follow if you don't already, please do. We're gonna paint our door. Melissa has been watching your lives a lot lately. It helped Great. through panic attacks. I'll I just, hope you're doing okay. Just keep breathing, babe. You just keep breathing. Hey. Panic attacks are We're still thing. in Florida, Elizabeth. The weather's kind of thundery and or raining here where we are. The weather up at Pennsylvania has said, it's, I think it's cold but dry. No, it's rainy. Oh, it's it rainy there, yes. There's a lot of storms going on. A lot of storms. I'm just going to put some different color boards in her door. I had looked for Thursday on our security cameras and it was raining on Thursday. I never looked today. Just some different color boards. In the door. It's funny, Bon Bon hates the rain. She does. When it's throwing it down the rain, they'll take her to the door and she'll look out and it's like, uh-uh, no going out in that. <laughs> it is so funny how yeah, she does that. it's crazy in New York. Oh, it's horrible. I've been seeing some of the pictures. Gosh, I just hope everybody's okay. That weather, water can be so damaging. Martin, I love this phone holder. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking mm. about it home where I want to put it. I think I want to put it on the Frankenstein table. It's amazing. Look, I can do everything underneath here. How far does the clamp open? What, my, the phone clamp? The table. Here? That high. All right, that's great. Put it on anything. It's amazing. So I'm just painting up colors of her door. This kind of reminds me of that rainbow eucalyptus we saw, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give her a pretty little fairy door. Oh, well, 66 people, and you might want oh, to Oh, hello. Them. You're up there. I am writing a book. Illustrating a book and publishing a book oh, all on lives. All on now. lives. Thank you. The book is called Lady of the Leaves. And our story goes like this. We all know Jack Frost paints the winter white. But have you ever wondered how the leaves change color? Here's our story in a nutshell. See, that's a nutshell. And I'm painting the painting right now that's going to go in here where we're going in her door. Oh, that's good, looky. There's a little point in the door. <laughs> the pumpkin's hiding it. So inside, Lady of the Leaves is sleeping. She, and I always forget to say this, and this is an important thing, honey. The leaves, they call her Milady. <laughs> it's a little inside joke between me and my daughter. <laughs> I, oh, my daughter, I will, when she says something to me, I always say, yes, Milady. <laughs> And it's just a little joke. So she sleeps three seasons. She's only awake for one season. <coughs> that is fall. But her sleep just feels like one good night of sleep. So when she gets up, she goes to her hat rack on the wall, puts on her little hat, which is the, the shell of an acorn. And she sings a little song and all the leaves come down to dress her. Now the leaves are her clothes and they're also her friends. They're also her camouflage because she can't be seen by a human. So the first little leaf that lands on her hat, he's quite pleased with himself. Look, he's cheeky, very cheeky. Other leaves are coming in to land on her hat and they make up her entire outfit is made out of these beautiful leaf friends of hers. They were they stayed in her house for the whole three seasons and she has her little magic stick that she paints with. It's a little branch from a very special tree that, that has been handed down to her, to fairies like her. And every tree that changes colors has a lady of the leaves living inside it. 
So if you look at the tree, you don't see her little house because most humans, adults anyway, we forget to see the magic. So animals can see that, children can see the little fairy door, but we can't see this. But she comes out here, she comes up into the bottom of the tree to start painting. She has to hide in there. So if you've ever looked at a tree and the leaves have been shaking, it could be a lady of the leaves in their painting. And when she paints the leaves, it tickles them. So the leaves laugh and all of the leaves on her outfit are laughing with, with um, the leaf changing colors and they're very ticklish. So you know the noise that a tree makes when the wind's blowing through it, that little ruffling noise that we all love, that could be giggling leaves. So we're painting the door just now. And our story, if you have been listening, you know, it's only been two days since I have been doing this. And it feels like about 29 years now. <laughs> um, because I've just been, I've been thinking about it basically nonstop. But um, it's just been two days that I've been working on this and um, it keeps evolving. I love that. And you can watch all of the progress, all of our lives are being uploaded to our YouTube channel. And my goal is at the end of this, I'm gonna have a book to sell all over the interwebs. I'm gonna show you how I publish it. It'll be all over the internet and it will be uh, available. You can get print on demand. You can get a hard copy. You can get soft soft copy, a soft cover copy. You can get um, a signed copy. We're gonna do some signed copies and um, just a lot of fun. Just Joel a lot of fun. It's cute. Doris and Denise <sighs> think it's beautiful. Thank you. And I'm just painting this um, like a little rainbow eucalyptus. And everybody can't even wait to get a book. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank you. And But my real goal isn't even my book. My real goal is <clears throat> someone will see this. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Maybe right now I'm talking just to you. And you know who you are. And maybe you're going to think, I'm going to watch Priscilla do this. And then I'm going to, I'm going to finally write that book that I want to write want to write and you're you know or do that thing I want to do I want you to I want you to um I want you to find that that feeling that the time is right for you to do what you want to do right now <laughs> right now that's the time that's when the time is right right now so on here I'm going to darken this up a little bit if I darken this edge, darken this edge just a little bit and darken this across here. I'll make it feel like a little step out. Hi, Cambria. Hello. I can't believe it's just been two days. Honey, doesn't it feel like it's been a lot longer? Mm -hmm. It really does. It feels like I've known this story my whole life. So we got a little spiral at the top and she has a little um, a little overhang up here on the top. She you knows, her husband literally just said that to me as I've always wanted to write at least one book. Yes, please do. So I'm gonna put this little overhang here over her door. I'm gonna kinda try to make it look like it's a little acorn top maybe even I don't know don't know sometimes you gotta paint and just let the paint do its thing and I think the little curly cue was yep up above there so up above here was the little curly cue So a little curly cue. I'm just gonna put some other these these colors. Let them dry a little bit. We don't even have to know what all these things are. I think a lot of times it's more fun 
Sheila's asking, did if you we plan on guess. writing and info this in Florida? No, I absolutely didn't. That's a great question, Sheila. I did not plan on writing this. I woke up the other morning. I didn't have a voice. My voice was gone. Maybe this was a, a church miracle that happened here in Florida. I did not have a voice. And so I was staying. That was on, was that on Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday, yeah. Tuesday, we went flying. Tuesday, I talked myself right out of my voice, I think. Wednesday, I woke up. And this whole idea just was in my head. Maybe I had dreamt about it. I don't know. That kind of looks like a little acorn top up there now. I love it. I love it. A big acorn top. Big acorn top. This is our little fairy door. So I'm going to put layers of different colors on here. Thanks, Angie. Angie's saying you're awesome <laughs> to Sheila. Thank you. I want to inspire you to get after your dream right now. Right now is the time for you. It's our time, everybody. Let's get creative. Let's do it. Let's do what makes us happy and brings us joy. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's focus on that. Joy and happiness. Positivity. Sunshine lollipops and rainbows. And I think here, because we didn't have, we didn't see all of this in our uh, painting, I think here, here I'm gonna paint these like there are little steps. We need a little dark spot right there. Then we need to pull this out here. Pull it out over here. And I'm using, wa I love watercolors as a medium. To make this sink back in, I'm gonna put black here well a dark brown I'm gonna pull that down here I'm gonna go just like this and put that little corner in and you see how just doing that made it more 3d that's what we're after and these are just planks and thank you everybody thanks for following for liking um, Morton just liked, KJ Mom joined, Morton liked again. <laughs> um, Morton can't read who's liking on my own, but I can. Kimberly joined, Cambria like, Cambria, Cambria's my girl, I love her. Cambria, you are such a beautiful person. You really, really are such a beauty, wonderful person. We have, um, Morton and I have been so lucky to meet and no, the most incredible people on TikTok. And I'm telling you what, this, this book is being dedicated to all of you, all of our incredible friends on TikTok. You really, you make our lives so happy. You really, really do. I love when I see likes. Cambria liked, Melody liked. <laughs> Um, some I was just watching somebody's live while I was eating my dinner and I was tapping the likes that's like it's what you need to do if you're watching something you like tap those likes <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to make these a little bit 3D I'm not drawing perfectly to scale I'm not doing that here I'll make that come out just a little bit more. I'm gonna make that one come out just a little bit more too. Um, because first of all, it's fairy scale. But I want every page to have, uh, oh, Sheila liked, Melody liked again. Uh, I, want, I want every page to have so much to look at. I want people to have so much to look at on every page. That step could be a little wonky. And we're gonna, this is gonna disappear into the tree. This will disappear into the tree. 
because oh, remember, Bobby's in and he's sitting right there. Remember, Bobby, TGIF. thank you. Thank you, Bobby, for the TGIFs. Remember that grown-ups forget to see the magic. Kids can see this fairy door probably. Grown-ups, well, the, the grown-ups who can see magic like you and me, we can see this fairy Angie door. Angie says you're a genius for your gift. <laughs> you're your Thank you all. Oh. You guys are so sweet. And Thank you. Did you see Cambria say thanks? You're too kind. Oh, Cambria, you're, you are such a sweetheart. And that was Angie that had said you're a genius for your art. Thank you. I just love, I just love painting. I love painting. I love making things. I was looking at a friend of mine in Scotland, honey. Michelle is down in um, London right now. She went, Bobby, our friend is down at the ABBA show right now in London. And um, she just sent me some pictures. Cambria sent you. And, uh. Fee wisps. Oh, thank you for thank the you. fee wisp. But um, my friend also just sent me this. It's this glass blown pumpkin in these iridescent, these iridescent colors. That I need to get. I need to get this. Oh my goodness! Thank you for that, Cambria. Thank you so much for this wisp. Thanks. But um, I wanna, I want to when I get life home. Life goals complete. Thank you. Yay! The life goals complete. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Cambria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But when I get home, I really, really want to get, I want to get my glass blowing stuff set up. We, we. Oh my gosh! You knocked it out of the park. Celebrate, everybody! Yay! Everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Cambria, and everybody who's given gifts. Bobby, everybody else. Honey, who else has given gifts? Have you seen? Well, my memories need loads of people uh, sent gifts. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. This is really, really a fun painting. And I love that it's, it's going to a whimsical book. I love whimsical, magical stories. I I have to say this. I know Martin and I don't ever really talk about religion. Um, we just don't. But my dad was really religious. And my dad um, still, like, he left us have the magic, if you know what I mean. Like, we had Christmas, and he, he didn't... Um, I, I always loved that. Because I had some friends who their parents wouldn't let them have Christmas... And um, <laughs> I always felt bad for them. Christmas and the magical stuff. I just love it. Okay, we're going to start painting. Honey, quit biting your nails. Yeah, everybody nag. Help me nag Martin. Martin keeps biting his nails. Martin's getting ready when we go home to have dental work. Because he bites his nails all the time. And he keeps doing it. I hear him over there biting them. <laughs> Do you remember when Sarah tried to cure you from biting your nails from poking you with a fork? It didn't work. You got no reason to bite your nails, honey. Zero stress. Zero it's stress. An old wife's tale. What's an old wives' tale? One of love under the nails. In the tiki tiki, honey, it's not an old wives' tale. When I was in sixth grade, our science teacher had us like scrape out from what was under our nails, put it on a slide, look at a microscope, and there were wiggling things on there. I never put my fingers in my mouth again. <laughs> like oh. to bite my nails. And you never got Christmas because they were Jehovah's Witness, she was saying. Yeah, we, well, my dad was, um, my dad wasn't really any religion. He just read the Bible and... Oh, a fey girl, did you see the fey girl? Oh, Thank you. I didn't see the fake girl. Five of them. Thank you. Who sent that? Cambria. Cambria. Thanks, Cambria. And hey, to each their own. Like, everybody, believe whatever you want to believe. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. I'm just commenting that I'm glad my dad, my dad, like, he encouraged our imaginations. I, I would make up little stories. And he would never, you know, never discourage me. From yeah, that. so many people handle money. Yes, well, money is things. so dirty. Now I'm going to paint this background here is going to be painted like a tree. 
and I just got I just got tagged in this um there's a creator that I like on here her name's Karen Joy wait I think yeah that's her name and she's going to do make some birch trees and I did that little birch video um when I get home, I need to make birch trees. We need to make birch trees together. Birch trees are so fun. So I'm gonna paint this in. I wanna I want us to be able to see the I want us to be able to see this tree. Or see the see our fairy door. Apparently that was the good thing about when money used to all be made out of silver and gold because it had natural gold silver and gold has natural antibacterial and yes. antibiotic properties. So it wasn't all germany. And that's why as well brass they make uh, door handles and stuff out of brass because they have natural uh, antibiotic properties on the brass. So I'm gonna put this paint on here pretty thick this watercolor right here. I'm gonna put this on pretty thick and I'm gonna bring it right to this side. And you might be scared that I'm gonna hide our door entrance. I'm not. Because we're gonna come along. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna come along and we're gonna push. And I can't help it. Whenever I do this, I hear salt and pepper. Always, always. Yeah. Salt and pepper's song. Bam, 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 bam. You do that. Push it. Right. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Yeah, I listen to good music. I love salt and pepper. The kids were listening to like the most horrible songs of all times, according to whoever's YouTube channel it was. And a lot of them I liked <laughs> and was singing. And my grandson's like, Grandma, don't sing along with that. <laughs> like, I can't help it. I like that. I'm from a different time. Different time come through the same over here we needed this picture this picture will help us tell our story so much better so I'm just getting everything wet here with this with my dirty water everything sometimes reminds me of a song too same dirty water think of was it this the kinks that did I love that dirty water yeah London you're my town I don't know what Yeah, I think it was the Kinks, but I'm not sure. Okay, so we got that side all that color. Now we're going to drop some brown in here. It's food and dirty water, but Americans would you know what? No. That's not the version I know anyway. I'm gonna overlap this. I want this to feel like our tree trunk. I'm actually gonna take this tree trunk right here, right up off the page. We need to take it off the page. We need to go right up here. Our tree needs to just, this is our tree. This is our tree, right up here. put a real dark hedge on it once we get the bark right. We gotta get the bark right. And I'm gonna define that a little bit more then with our marker. <clears throat> but I want to keep that kind of light around there. This is our fairy door entrance. For Lady of the Leaves. And now we have a fan on here. So 
I might have already waited too long to dry some of this off. We'll see. And I'm using just a little number six brush. <laughs> Should have used a bigger brush. But let's go in here and dry. If this doesn't work, I can build up color blocks, but I think this is going to work for us. We're making tree bark. Morton's tapping. Hey, tap, tap, tap. 9,000. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to take some um, dark stuff here. going to go in and paint along this edge. That's our dark edge of the tree. We might pull a root out here. Let's put a little root out on that side. We got that dark edge. Got that dark edge going on. Let's come down here and I want to kind of just feather this stuff just to create like this little bark sensation. As I have my lines on the doors, I do not want my lines like that over here. So just taking a little bit of water, just kind of feathering this around just to look like bark. That's what we're after. Bark. We might put some little shaggy little bits up there. Put some little bits under there. Leave some little lights and darks and spots. This is our tree. This is where our story happens, right in here. I'm gonna take this, put this back here. We'll have another root going off back there. Make that dark in there. Put a little dark part up there too. Really layer it up there. Okay. Just paint your little heart out. I love that little light, that little white spot there. We're going to leave that. I love that. That's a good little spot. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to dab, dab, dab down here where I have some more of these little, little bits. And this is amazing. Thank you. Quiet it's in a few Everybody's quiet. You guys are probably like, woman, are you still painting that? <laughs> I'm painting all this on lives. These are going to be saved on our YouTube channel forever. Any part of it you want to go back and watch, you'll be welcome to. And I'm going to do the same again on this side because I want, I really want to feel like that's the base of our tree. Is it feeling like the base of a tree to you? Get that over here. I would totally live here. Honey, I need to build a fairy house outside. We really do. Mm. Like a proper fairy house we can go in. And she says they love it in Cambria. says yes. Yay! Uh, now I'm going to work on making it more 3D. I want to go inside, says Cambria. Yay! That's, what, yeah. that's our goal. That's what we're after. Goal. Hey, what are you asking what I do, Angie? Oops. I got crazy there. I went wild. I'm just sitting and here quiet watching you, says Katrina. Bill <laughs> says, no, we're appreciating where you take it without congestion. And you know, <laughs> you know, if you, uh, if you uh, hit tap enough, Morton, if you get... If you're meaning the likes things, uh, Angie, you just double tap this tap the screen really fast and it sends likes. And if you send enough, like little fireworks go off. That's and pretty cool. Uh, I think it helps the algorithm. And I did a hashtag FYP. I don't know if that helps. 
Yeah, we don't know. We're figuring out. Try to find new ways to get more people. Figuring it out as we go along. I don't know if doing that hashtag gets other people's FYPs in. These little dark spots here, they're going to hopefully give us some 3D feels. That's what we're going for. Little 3D, 3D trees. I don't want it to feel flat. I want it to feel oh, round. Cambria shared. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody the other day when they were on, they did a hashtag FYP, and I don't know what it does. I don't either, honey. Because face uh, TikTok doesn't kind of tell you. You find out a lot of stuff for trial and error. That's so true. Well, this I'm sort of scraping off a little bit and then putting some more on. Oh, you just, you keep, uh, keep ticking, hitting the likes till the heart bar at the top fills up and you keep doing it till the bar fills and let go and it should do fireworks. There it goes now. Can you see them? You only see them on your screen. I can't oh, see right. them on our screen. I don't know. But, but it's uh, fun because you feel like you've accomplished something. I love it. Like, if you keep hit, you keep hitting lights really fast, and then a heart appears, and then there's a bar along with a heart, and uh, once the bar on the heart fills up, when you let it go, it, like it does confetti or fireworks on my end. Can you tell me in a second, Priscilla, if you okay. can see them. I'm watching mine. Right. Right, I've Let's let go see. and I'm getting fire hot confetti and everything. No, I don't see it. But sometimes I oh I heard it. I yeah. just heard it. I've always wondered what made that noise. Well I'll try it again, see if you can hear it again. I don't right, know if anybody there, can anybody else hear it. Or something, and then it makes fireworks. Wow. So right, hang on, right, the bar's nearly full. Uh, right, oh my right, goodness, right. what the... Oh, right, now the Cambria gave a big celebration. Cambria, so, thank you right, for that I marvelous. Now, it starts making sparks okay, let's heart. listen. I go, it's done stuff now. Can you see anything? Wait, I can't see. Let's see if I can hear. Lenny gets the confetti as well, they said. I didn't hear it that time. Huh. Yes, Laney says it's when you do over like a hundred like consecutively. Right, that's Angie, cool. that's a gift, the fireworks one. That is cool. But Thank yeah, mine you. Mine makes confetti. But I don't know why you Thanks don't Thanks everybody's see doing it. it. Yeah, I don't know why I don't see it either. I'd love to see the confetti. She's not wrote the book yet, Carlita. Um, well, I'm writing it as I go along. I will read you what I have. Um, I'll read you what I have. Well, no, I won't. I can't read it to you. Uh, I'll tell you what I have. <laughs> I'm just wanting to paint some curves here and paint this feel, make that feel like a little stump. She's in a little stump. She lives in a little stumpy stump. Well, it's a big tree, but this is the base we're seeing. I'm loving this. I'm loving the tree. You love the tree. You got the confetti burst from doing it. Great. That is great. And um, Cambria, I can't see on my phone. Cambria keeps giving gifts. Well, Cambria, is, uh, cheer thing. you up. Look at that. Yay. Woo! And the marvelous confetti. Now that I see. And that's a live gift. Thank you so much, Cambria. That's a live gift. And um, it... The first time we ever got a gift on a live, basically after the live, I cried. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I didn't know about this. And it kind of just made my heart overflow. <laughs> the people the people liked what we were doing enough to give us a gift. I, I, I couldn't, I still can't get over it. It's, TikTok is amazing. I love TikTok. It's so, so fun. I still look at um, different things we've gotten. Back home I have different lighting and different stuff that I've gotten um, from people giving us gifts. It's uh, unbelievable. Wu-Tang lady, how the heck are you? I haven't seen you in forever. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, now Wu Tang ladies here. I'm gonna gonna tell you. Everybody's gonna hear a story. The story is Lady of the Leaves. This is a book that I'm writing. Writing, illustrating, and publishing this book all on lives on TikTok that we will then put up on our YouTube. Um, and we all know the story of how Jack Frost paints the winter wonderland, but have you ever wondered how the autumn leaves get their beautiful color? Here's our story in a nutshell. Okay, oh, oh, glad yeah, you're good. Time. Glad you're good. And thanks for following. Who just followed, honey? Lulu. Oh, Lulu, thanks for following. So the next page here that we're going to come to is this page. To get to the top of our story, we got to start at the bottom and we got to go all the way down to the bottom of the tree where you can't see this with human grown up eyes. Animals can see this, other fairies can see this, but this is where the Lady of the Leaves lives. So we step inside, we open the little door, we step inside to her lovely home and we find her sleeping she sleeps three seasons every year. She only wakes up for the fall. See the little spider webs on her hot cocoa. And her sleeping three night, three seasons a year feels like the most refreshing night's sleep she's ever had. She thinks it's just one night. She thinks it's just one sleep. So when she wakes up, she heads to her coat, her hat rack. And she gets her little cap. Off of this hook on the wall, her cap is a um, acorn top, and she sings the sweetest song. And guess what? My son just wrote a song. He just wrote a song. He sang me before we came down called Autumn Leaves. How weird is that? He said I can't use that. <laughs> so I have to write my own. <clears throat> um, but all of these autumn leaves, they rush to her. They become her, um, the, well, the, fir the first one that makes it onto her hat, he's so satisfied and pleased with himself. They become her camouflage and her outfit to go painting in the tree. So when she's beautifully dressed, she grabs her magic painting brush, which is a stick, a special stick, and she heads outdoors because the leaves are still green. They're waiting on her. So the leaves just zip her right up. All the leaves that she has on her zip her right up. And when she reaches the tree, she starts painting. Now, when she paints the, tr the, the leaves, when she touches them with the stick, it tickles and it turns them it colors. Now, she might have to tickle a leaf 10 times before he's fully color co colored. And all of her leaves that make up her attire, they all enjoy this process. So <laughs> this is where Matt, this is I'm making her entry door right here. Now, some things that I have coming up, I'm going to have all the, all the, all the uh, Lady of the Leaves, every tree that changes color has a Lady of the Leaf, the Lady of the Leaves lives in there. So you see all of her trees, as far as the as far as their eyes can see, they get together. They're gonna have a big autumn celebration. They're all gonna get together. It'll probably be potluck, but our this is this is the drama of the story here because there's gonna be a little drama. There is gonna be a little drama. You know how no one's supposed to see her. Someone's getting ready to see her as she's coloring the leaves. It's a person because animals can see her already. Animals can see her. A grown-up person is going to see her. So we don't know who it's gonna be yet. Don't know, I'm trying to decide who it's gonna be, who this character's gonna be that sees her. Um, you know might be somebody that needs a friend and she thinks she's seeing things we just don't know we gotta we gotta figure it out and see <laughs> so now that this is dark i'm gonna just take my brush 
lay it on its side. And Wu-Tang Lady, I'm so happy you are out here. And yes, the book emote, that's happening right after right after this ticky talk. Cambria, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of each one of the pages that I have done so far. And I will turn them into emotes. The next live that I do, you'll be able to put put up your put up your pages that you love. Thank you for that great idea. Thank you for that. So I'm gonna put a couple little bits of bark here. I'm gonna just sort of let my brush just kind of skate along here. I don't want them to look like they're painted straight. I'm going to go back through that dark stuff. Grab some of that off. Is it looking like bark? Mm -hmm. Is it looking like tree bark, everybody? I hope it is. Tree bark with watercolor can be a little bit, a little bit fussy. Angie says yes. Yay, yay. Uh, I'm gonna, these little white bits right here, I'm just gonna paint them away. Just gonna paint them away. Just Cambria make them. thinks it does. Yay. Make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna rinse this off. We need a door handle. Should she have a window in her door? Can we see her door? We can't see the front of the door from there. She could have a window. Have a window. People could see it. Honey, it's a mat. It's magic. Yep. Grown-ups can't it. see it. Grown-ups can't see this. Let's look and see. See right here when you're looking at it, you can't even tell there's a... You can't even tell until we tell you to look closer. You can't even see that. The door is open there. Um, don't know there she's looking out her door I gotta make that blue go up a little bit higher to make that domed or it could be the window in her door <laughs> continuity here we can't see it her, her, her door is hidden her door is hidden So maybe, maybe it's just a magic door. Let's put a little door handle on and see how we feel. Let's put a little door handle on. Should we put a door knocker on her door? I don't know. Who's going to be knocking anything? Her friends. She has a lot of friends. Next thing you know, you'll be putting a mouse. A what? A mouse flock. A little mouse flap. Flop. <laughs> we'll put a little handle on her door. And we won't put hinges on her door because they're on the inside, right? The little hinges would be on the inside of her door, honey. No? No, no. Unless they're blind bolts going through like the big old fashioned doors. Like roll iron hinges. So we could have hinges on our door? Yeah, you have the big blind coach bolts. Okay. We just gotta make sure it's logistically gonna work. <laughs> Let's put hinges here. I don't know, I know. You might be better, no. I don't no, know. No, I've already committed. They're going. Little hinges, little door hinges. Needs one more up here because it's a big door. I like the door hinges. That's just enough. Just enough. I'm going to put a little bit more dark right in there. A little bit more dark right up in here. I'm loving the bark. Loving the bark, babe. I'm saying perfect. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm loving this one too. I really, really am. 
I am going to call this one finished because I'm to the point in this painting and I get to this point where I feel like it, if I go further, I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to tear this one up and the next thing that we're going to, the next time we're going to see her is we're going to see her. Did somebody just follow, honey? I uh, don't know. Let me see it on my screen. I think someone new just followed. Uh, no, I'm still seeing four forward. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make our frame. Going to paint our little frame in colors. And we're going to make... I know exactly how the person is going to discover our fairy. I know exactly how the person is going to discover the Lady of the Leaves. It just got, it just hit me. Just happened. Just happened. I love it when things work like that. They just come to you. Lulu says my favorite was diving into a pile of leaves as a kid. She should have a pile oh. of leaves. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You've heard of how people forest bathe. She could leave. She could bathe. She could have a, a clawfoot tub. Say like the clawfoot tub that's outside the church. Mm -hmm. that she takes her leaf bath in. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> I love that. I was going to have the person discover her. In a cloth or in a in a bird's nest in the tree, but I yeah, think I think maybe hey Belgium Lena hello, I think maybe must still be here as well. She's having a late night. Now hey, it's Friday. We're creating. We can stay up late, babe. What do you think now? The person discovers her either. In a clawfoot tub that has been filled with leaves, and we know where that is outside the church. Or does the person discover her, discover her taking a nap in the nest? Uh, what do you think? Don't know. Maybe the nap in the nest if they were climbing the tree. I don't know that the person's climbing the tree. Why oh, wouldn't? The tree's pretty dang tall. Look, let me point a reference this tree for you, babe. This tree is pretty tall. Look yeah, at it. If they were a loony like oh, you, they'd be climbing it. Yeah, well, it is a good climbing tree. And maybe maybe a person is this tall. I couldn't get up to that tree, though. You've got nothing for reference as to how tall it meant to be. I know. The tree it could be a big a tree. Person it could, could be, be a that shrub. tall. A person could be that tall. That's true. That's true. Yes, it is book time, Molly. Book time again, indeed. Yeah, what's that? Morton and a kilt season. I I kind of like the idea of of a kilted Morton seeing her. I kind of like it, and I could think Morton's gone crazy, but I don't want I don't want us to get into the story that much. I want it to be, um, so this is, this is kind of, let me give it to you in a nutshell, what I'm seeing and thinking and feeling. Um, someone, someone finds out that she's real, that she's there. She doesn't know what to do. She asks her friends. They have, they have no clue as to what to tell her they have always been careful and now now this person won't quit looking for her so she's finding it very distracting to paint her leaves and the leaves on her tree are staying green because she's so busy hiding from the person what do you think what do you think of that morton I thought it would be more likely to be friends. More like they'd be friends? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that too. I like that too. 
Yeah, I like that too. That's better. Friends are always better. Thanks, honey. Friends are better. I want to put a really pretty frame on this one. This is going to be a critical point Shall of the story. Yeah, I need it. Yay. <laughs> hello, hello. This, I want this frame on here to be just a beautiful oh, frame. Molly, subscribe. Molly, thank you. Martin. Kisses, Martin. Thanks, Molly. Molly, thank you. <coughs> thank you so much, Molly. 41 subscribers. And the new, I will be changing the emotes so they are um, these. All my, all my paintings that I'm painting will be the emotes. I can't believe this has only been two days that we've been painting this. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, Molly, you can actually go into the bit now at the messages and play with the emotes. The can actual <laughs> pictures that Priscilla made. Does it seem to anybody else that it's been way more than two days for this book? This is day two of this book. <laughs> Chubby Cat, thank you for the hand heart. Right, there you go, Molly. Yep. Molly got the emotes? Yeah, she got the pictures of me and you. Wee, 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 wee. Honey, maybe you and I should be in this story. Maybe we find her. Maybe we make friends with her. Maybe, oh my gosh, you could give her teeny tiny little loaves of sourdough. I would love to make friends with the Lady of the Leaves. <coughs> Maybe we should do that. Honey, yeah. we got to think about that. I might have mm -hmm. to put up a TikTok asking questions. Because especially seeing those little emotes. Does it, does it have to be a person? Uh, it does have to be a person. Well, Animals can see her. So they can't just Only grown-ups can't see person. her. Does it have to be a person? Can it be a fairy or a butterfly? Oh, she's going to have certain. other fairies. She's definitely going to have other how fairies. How many illustrations will be in the book? I don't know yet how many so illustrations. Can't with the emotes too. <laughs> Yay. Uh, uh, at the end, at of, the the end last, of the last page. At the end of the last page. So, um, I think let's have a page where we talk about how. Well, I have some things that I want to do. I have some paintings that I want to do. For sure. I'm going to do some and we can put them in order. I definitely want her sleeping in a bird's nest. I want her sleeping in a bird's Chubby nest. Chubby Cat says, I enjoy watching the YouTubes after work because I miss Yay. them during the work week days. Thank you. Thank you, everybody uh, who's watching the YouTube. What if you made an appearance on the last page? Oh, yeah, yeah. Rowdy Girl, the book is completed. Nope, not yet, Rowdy Girl. Not yet, still working. We're going to paint, I'm going to paint a little bird's nest. Because I really want her to take a nap oh, in the tree. Thanks, Alexis. Oh, Cambria's back. Thank you. Thanks so much. I want um, I want to have her having a little nap in a bird's nest. So this is going to be the little bird's nest, and we're going to have. Oh my gosh, this is going to be super cute. This is going to be super cute. The bird's nest is going to sit on a branch. You're going to get the bird's nest on the branch. <clears throat> she has to take a little nap in here. Yeah, Rowdy Girl says so therapeutic to watch. <laughs> has anybody ever watched a book being done like this before? Yeah. Have you ever seen It'd this? It would be cute to see you and Morton peeking down. Well, may, hey, maybe at the end, maybe at the end, her tree, honey, mm -hmm. maybe her tree is one of our trees maybe. out the door. Maybe she's looking, maybe we're looking out at the leaves change, all change color. 
Maybe we're, maybe she's right by the church and we don't even know it. Super excited to be able that, to buy she's Alexis. That might be how this story yeah, ends. That might be the last we page. I, we I kind of love that it's idea. Very interesting. I kind of love the idea of the last page. All right, I see what they're saying. No, very interesting. No, it feels so awesome watching the process live. Though, says Yay. Tabitha. It's very calm, uh-huh. says Molly. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I lost my voice. I would have not done this if I would have lost my voice. I would have been out there visiting. Look at how this... Look, Do you see how that's going right there at the bottom? Does that show up in there? It looks like little twigs. That's how b- the bird builds the nest onto the little tree. <gasps> Thank you, Tubby Cat, for the hanging lights. I love them. We have to put some fairy lights up. I, I have one painting that I want to do of all of her and her friends celebrating the leaves being all painted. And they're in, they're kind of in a little glen with all the leaves around them beautifully colored for autumn and they're celebrating and it's their last night out before going to their big sleep for their three season nap I love how that just that just happened I did not paint that that happened I'm not changing anything on that Okay, so now I need to get our girl in here. So our girl is going to have, our girl is going to have, let's put her cap here. She's, she's taking her nap here. There's her little. Chubby cat sees the branch is beautiful. Thank you. Now I'm going to rinse this brush off. I kind of want to go in there, but that's all. I love how that came out. Love how that came out. Okay. We're going to make her little face here. Make her little face here. I didn't want that to happen. (laughs) But it's okay that it happened. I have my rag. (laughs) Straight down, straight up. Perfect. Perfect! That couldn't be any better. I think this is this the fourth page you're working on today. Uh one today I've done I've done this and this and this, didn't I? Yes. Yes, that's the fourth. I'm on my fourth page. I just realized that. Okay, so here we're going to have her little neck coming down here. Maybe her little arm is going to be resting right up on the side of this. Her little arm. She's having a rest. She's been painting. We'll put some leaves down there. But her body, um, her body needs to go down in there more. Carlita says Philsbury. I'm not sure what that means. Hey, hi in Altoona. Hello. So cute. Is it, it Fish and Freak? Yep, it's Fish and Freak. Hello, Fish and Freak. So, um, her little legs are good. So her legs would be down in there and then up. Hey, so Katie Lou are... says beautiful. My greatest joy on a Sunday morning is watching you create. Yay! Her little legs are here, and she's she's taking and her nap. Fish and Freak says, hi folks, she knows, laugh out loud. Taking the, taking the little nap with her shoes on. She's taking the nap with her shoes on, and we can go back in here now, make that a little bit darker. That's all we need of that. That's all we need of that. I need to get a lot of that dark paint off. I don't think you can see my paints if I bring them closer. Martin, I just almost stuck this in my drink. 
So back here now, I need to take, I saw that, I saw that slipping. And thanks everybody for tapping, sharing, liking, all that good stuff. So we need to do the back of the, back of her um, nest that she's sleeping in. And I think, oh my goodness, oh, cool. chubby cat. That's amazing, thank you. That was beautiful. <laughs> This is watercolor. Oh, that's amazing. Fish and Freak's going to be saying hello from Paris soon. Oh. Is that Texas or France, though, Fish and Freak? Nice. Paris, Texas or Paris, France. So <laughs> here I'm going to paint. The watercolors, Katie. I'm just going to, that's the back of the bird's nest. But around here, she's laying down with no camouflage on her. We're gonna paint the leaves around here. All of her little leaves, they're all gonna be taking naps too. So her little leaves, they're all gonna be around here. And I'm just gonna paint a lot of them right now. <laughs> Fishing feet saying no to Paris, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool though. Paris, Texas. Okay, so let's put in a whole bunch of leaves because they're all they're all taking their nap too. I saw that film years ago. I've never seen it. I'm gonna put in some other colors in these. They're oh, all hobby took a contract for six to nine months. Nice. Oh you'll be going at a good time of the year. Yeah. You'll be going at a good time of the year. So her leaves, her leaves gather around her to sleep. They come off of her when she's taking her nap. This is good because this explains it too, how she sleeps in her house, house. But she's taking a nap right now. <clears throat> she's taking a nap. And these little leaves, they're all going to have their little eyes shut. Her eyes are going to be shut. It's going to be Most of the time they're in Sarasota, Sarasota, Florida, over the line. Oh, super cool. I'm not putting the stems on these leaves yet. Fishing feet to look. Angie's in Southeast Oklahoma. Nice. And I'm just going to put the leaves hey, so sweet. where they won't, where they won't obstruct our view from our girl. Oh my gosh, look at that duck. That duck is so cute. Thank you. Love it. Come here with a little bigger leaf. Maybe put a bigger leaf over here. Catch you later if, you're, if we're still here, chubby cat. Yes, bye-bye for now, and thank you so much. All the little... Angie's not far away from Paris, Texas. That's cool. She's in, she's in southeast Oklahoma. We're going to have all of our little... All of our little leaf friends right here. They just stick in the side of the nest. Okay. I'm starting with orange or yellow. So now I can come in and bring in some different colors. And fill in some different shapes. You can build up from yellow. This is so, oh my gosh, Martin, this is so much fun to paint. But I'm loving this process. <laughs> that leaf is going to be Love behind me. that leaf. Maybe out a little bit that way. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to the snow coming fishing freak. <laughs> 
saying PA is too cold for them in the, the winter, but they have a home in Altoona, PA. That's cool. <coughs> I I like the cold. Call me a weirdo, but I love it. I do love it. I, I have tried to live in Florida. I've tried. I can't do it. I gotta have my four seasons. It's all my seasons. <laughs> I love them. Thanks, Lainey. And when we get home... Lainey was watching her video about the haggis sneaks and tatties and said <laughs> my colour looks good. Hey, was did anybody see the TikToks where Martin is... Martin is cracking up. Our granddaughter came in and um, she brings out the happy in everybody. Martin had us laughing so hard. Yeah, that makes the difference of in the wood for going into winter. Oh, that's, that's one of the reasons the kind person who gave us the wood, that's one of the reasons that we're able to hang out down here as yep. long as we've been hanging out. So we know we got that wood at home. And our son's been stacking some of it up for us. Yeah. It's, oh my gosh, I just can't. I'm just ever so grateful. It's, you have no idea. The chimney. I was just thinking that this morning, honey. I was thinking about when we get home, you sweep the chimney. We get our first fire going because our son's been carving a loot up there. And he said to me, Mom, I saved all of the maple shavings for you. They're going to be excellent for starting your first fire. <laughs> it's always fun when we start the first fire this season. We'll have to do a live for that, babe. Were you over in Scotland for it, Molly? Because once we start speaking with a slang and fast, it's like... It's a bit like that here, though, when you're in a rural area and the Americans start speaking fast with your slang, it's like, you know, Hard sometimes it's difficult picking up words. Yeah. It's a lot of a Sador biomass stove that we have. It uh, double burns the wood, so it's really, it's really good and efficient. They reckon it uses half the wood of a normal fire, so it's good. We've got an oil furnace, the biomass wood stove, and an electric split unit that we got put in last winter but we... and in the basement our son has well the lower level our son has a propane stove a, a fireplace it's more for decoration and backup and he has the split unit electric as well so uh, if if we ever get a power failure then uh, the the we're having the propane that doesn't need electric uh, the biomass stove that doesn't need electric, the place won't freeze. But we don't have oil bought for the winter, yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of, um, yeah, we were going to get it, and then we had crazy, crazy hospital bills. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a little stash saved <laughs> for oil. <laughs> so we got to burn a lot of wood this winter. Uh, Molly saying no they came here we had bagpipes and kilts but yes they spoke so fast and then you had alcohol <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting in some little random sticks as a bird nest is little sticky feels here little stick feels I love uh, Susan's saying they had cool evenings in Marquette, Maine, and a couple of fires already. Man, oh. that's crazy. Yes, Maine, Maine definitely Maine gets is beautiful it. as well. It is. We need to go back, babe. Mm -hmm. You haven't been back since we did the bicycle ride. No. We need to go back. Let's let's go to Maine next summer for sure. Let's go to Maine. I want to go to Canada too next summer with you. I'm going to go too many places with Martin. Now I'm going to just make some little lines back here going this way. Oh, it's Mich I'm getting mixed up. Michigan, sorry. Means uh, me, Egypt, that I am. <laughs> You're not an Egypt, honey. Yeah, okay, I'm going to dab that. Should she have a lead blanket? Uh, a, a leaf, leaf blanket. blanket, maybe. No, she likes this chilly weather, I think this girl does. And it's a sun, this can be a sunny, sunny day. 
Yeah, I keep getting some of the, the letters mixed up with the ME and MI and stuff like that. I remember watching a really funny video one time. It was about when they were doing the initial abbreviations for the states. And they're going, oh, this will be easy. It'll be over in no time. And they're going, there's kind of be too many states with these letters. And it's like, oh, man. And they were all arguing with each other after five minutes as to what What's state be? should be what. That's funny. Was it Molly a tiki says her little legs are so cute. What did you say, Priscilla? Was it a tiki talk that you were watching? This ain't a TikTok. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're having Arizona and Arkansas and things like that. It's like uh -huh. the ones you Alaska. Would think in Alaska, the ones that you think would be obvious right from the for start. the letter starts. It's like, you know, then it's like, oh, no, it's not that. Okay. Katrina's seeing this painting is looking awesome. Thank you. I need um I need some blue. While the leaves are drying. I need some blue up here, but I also need green because she's taking a break from painting greens. So I'm gonna paint little swatches of blue. Not to drink, to paint with. <laughs> More water. Maybe little swatches of blue up here. Maybe a little storm's coming, honey. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little storm is coming. Maybe I don't paint green leaves up here. Maybe I just paint a little stormy sky. A little stormy sky feels. I have never written a book this way before, where I'm writing from paintings. Hi, Mel. I don't think. I've done cartoons Jen before. Hello. Hey, Jen Mel. I've done cartoons before like this, but I've never painted a book like this. I'm totally loving it, though. <laughs> Lena's asking who wakes her up a little bit. I, I'm not sure who's going to wake her up, because she's going to get discovered by a person that she's going to become friends with. I was going to have it that she was going to be hiding from the person, Morton likes the idea of her being friends with the person, and I do too. Maybe they see her because she gets wet in the storm, says Katrina. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking Molly the storm says that's happens. How the sky looked in Minnesota today. Oh, I'm thinking the storm happens. That's another one that could be a mic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking the storm happens, and then it sort of all happens starts to kick off. I'm going to try to make these clouds look like they're... What is Minnesota? What is Minnesota? What the are you letters. Uh, MN. All right. She laid down to take a little nap. Right, Molly told her. It was sunny. It was warm. She woke up and it was a stormy, stormy rain. And maybe as she was going back down, may oh her leaves camouflage her. Her leaves are off of her right now, honey. 
when she's going back down because she goes to go in her house quickly, she doesn't have her leaves on. Mm -hmm. So the person that sees her sees her going in her fairy door. Well, (laughs) she sees the lady of the leaves in her birthday suit. I like that. (laughs) I like this. A lot. And when we go out, if we're watching TV or visiting with the family, I'm just going to be playing the story in my mind. What happens next? I think as the storm comes in, and the little leaves are soaked and she's soaked, she just jumps out of the nest and heads right for her door and she's spotted what do you think what's everybody think good everybody's quiet good story bad story (laughs) we she has to get discovered and seen that could be a good way for her to get that could be a good way for her to get spotted says Kimberly yes says Angie <clears throat> when they fell asleep it was sunny now we got to make some stormy clouds coming and I think we're going to need to bring this out I think we're going to need to bring out the Payne's Gray you need to do oh, the blue below the branch and a little bit oh the blue below the branch yeah let's do that thanks babe Let's do our blue below uh, the branch. Katrina says, I still don't know the money slang. Nickels, dimes, etc. The money slang? I um, don't For. I don't know. What? Katrina must be in, maybe in Britain or... Where are you, Katrina? If you're in Britain, the money slang is... Um, Quid for a pound. Yeah. Um, what else? What else do they call pound there? A dime is uh, ten cents. Oh, oh. A nickel's gotcha. five cents. Quarters twenty five. A half dollar's fifty. You may see too many of them though, although they're about. And you get the dollar coin now that's the rarely. Rarely. What? You rarely get a dollar coin here. Uh, they're more popular. A lot of people use them now, but people still prefer the dollar. Honey, I, where are you getting a dollar coin from? Leonard used to get them all the time. Well, he probably collected them. Uh, they're Australian, living in Massachusetts. Oh, oh, okay. It's Katrina. Hello, Katrina. Katrina's doing a really cool painting right now. How's right. it going, Katrina? Okay. Storm clouds. We're looking for some storm clouds. It's going to be way back there right now. Way back there, we're going to start putting in some storm clouds. Steph got a $5 coin and a tip at the work. That's that would be an cool. interesting one to get. That's super cool. I've never seen one of those before of you. No. I'm going to put in some dark clouds back <clears> here. <throat> I've got, uh, Far away dark clouds. Yeah. Angie's son worked at a Sonic and got a 50 cent piece. That's, what's that? It's Kennedy that's on that, isn't it? I'm not, I'm truthfully not sure. It's one of the Kennedys that's on a 50 cent piece. Because we've got a couple of them. They're pretty neat. They're huge. The half dollar. I'm going to make that blue a little bit darker for a storm brewing back there. Lena Lean's cat snuggling in. It's 2 a.m. Oh. in uh, Belgium. Oh, how cozy that hey, sounds. Lisa, nosy, it's a beautiful day. That sounds beautiful. And in Australia, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. That was I funny. I remember that. that day in Scotland when we were at the car boot sale and somebody thought they were smart with Priscilla as they heard the American accent and she bought some popcorn for 50 pence and gave them a pound note 
and they gave her a 50 pence, what Priscilla thought was a 50 pence coin as change, because it had like, it was multi edged like a 50 pence piece. And she handed it to me and I looked at it, I says, what did they give you that for? She says, what do you mean that? She says, I says, that's not a 50 pence piece. And I looked closely at it, and it was actually an Australian 50 cent coin. It was so B- cool. But we actually scored because it was a commemorative coin for, like, uh, it was You still had it, that. Yeah, I've still got it. It was something, it was Beautiful. like something to do with, like, the, an anniversary after, like, one of the, like, the, after the war or something like that. But it was actually a commemorative coin. Yeah, it's so but cool. But when they heard the American accent, they offloaded it on Priscilla. It was really funny. I was happy. But it was like, because it was all multi-sided, they thought, I'll give that to her. Maybe. They, maybe they were accidentally yeah. doing it. But it, it was a really neat it coin. It worked out good for us. But I think it was all the planes on it for the... It was D-Day or something like that. I truthfully don't remember, honey. Yeah. Say uh, Lena leaves here as well. Such a magical night, full moon in Belgium. Oh, she needs a little tree frog friend hanging out on the branch. <laughs> well, she's getting ready to have be awakened by a storm. There's a um, storm in the distance. Kimberly's son works at Harvest Bank and saves older coins that come through. He's getting quite a clay. That's pretty neat. Some of the older coins, if they have different things on them, can be worth a few bob. I'm saying a few bob, that's a British phrase. (laughs) A bob was a nickname for a British coin called a shilling. It was worth, nowadays it's worth five pence, but in olden times it was worth 12 pennies. And there was 20 shillings in a pound at the time. In old, old money. And the scouts in Britain used to do what they called bob a job. They would go around the community and uh, you would come at the door to collect money for funds for the boy scouts. It was like they would do bob a job and you would give them the, a bob to do like cut your grass or like go grocery shopping or something like that for you. So that was like where that came from. I don't know if they had anything similar over here. I don't know what you would have called it. I've never heard of anything like that. That's an ominous looking sky. Yes, honey, a storm's coming. Critical yeah, part of the storm. The sky's looking scary. Yes, a storm's coming. She laid down in the sunshine, and this Sandy is happening. Sandy says yes, and the birdie of the nest shows up, and she gets startled and falls, but a little girl catches her. Donna's saying the storm's rolling in. Yes. I'm loving this. Loving this. Love too how that dark is making the leaves pop. She fell asleep in the sunshine and was woken up by the largest raindrops she'd ever seen. I'm gonna let this side, this guy down here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let that pretty. Should I let it pretty clear? Or should I put storm clouds coming in down there too? Mm-hmm. Like you well, know how storm the the they come out in the distance. Yeah, I'll let it clear. You feel like putting a blanket on her? Yes, she could do with a little blanket maybe. But we won't be able to see her. Someone had suggested a leaf as a blanket. Maybe, maybe, I don't want her to get lost. I want her to be, she laid down in the sunshine. Yeah, should I put some raindrops? 
Maybe on the next painting. Honey, did I just put black paint up here? I can't see very high. You have it's a streak. It's a Harry Potter streak. <laughs> That's the problem of using that paint. Put it on blank my just joined. Blank joined. Hey, blank. Um, okay, let's put her little friend's faces on just now. They're all sleeping. Maybe I do that with the marker. There's one marker. Let's put her little, little, let's go with these little faces. Oh, oh my knee, did you just hear it crack? Okay, so they're sleeping. So their little eyes are all gonna be like this. All gonna be sleeping. 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 All sleeping. Yep, there's videos of each time she's been live to dig. Uh, have you posted okay. them all yet? Um, no, I think this is my ninth live, and I think there's seven up on YouTube just now. I'll put the other ones up as soon as I can. <clears throat> all the little leaves are sleeping. Everyone's taking their nap. They have no clue. Susan F's asking what you're making. I'm writing a book, illustrating it, and publishing it all on lives. And this is our little, it's the Lady of the Leaves. And she's having a little snooze right here. I know why she looks different. we got to put her hair on. But I'm going to put her face on first. Her eyes. Closed. And she's sleeping. But we need to put her hair on her. And I need to make her little arm come down. Susan F says, great leaves, love it. Thanks. I'm gonna put a little, oh, there's another little leaf there, sleeping. Little simple faces on them. Some with little noses, some without. Not all are gonna have little noses. I gotta put her hair on. How did I forget her hair? I was looking at her like, what the heck's wrong with her? But we need her hair, honey. Mm -hmm. She needs to have her hair on. I thought that was the back hair, to be honest. No, she's sleeping on her back. better. She needed hair. I'm gonna put a little bit of little some little chunks of the light color in there. And I'll put the lines in when that dries. I'm gonna kind of just blur this background just a little bit. Susan says is much better and so cute. Thank you. Molly Carter says hi, hi Priscilla. Hello, how are you? Okay, also with this, I'm going to put in the little stems of the leaves. The little stems, because they're all just sort of tucking themselves in. They've tucked themselves into the bird nest. Everybody is just... It. 
tucked into the bird nest. Hi there, Susan. I'm not quite sure why, but I have always loved that little stem on a leaf is one of my favorite parts of a leaf. <laughs> Call me weird, but I've always loved that little stem. Okay, their little faces, check de check check. Now, we need to paint raindrops, maybe. I but I, I think I more. think I'm gonna just let it just like this, and the next one is gonna be a big raindrop hitting close. So like a close up of this with a big raindrop hitting. I think that's what's gonna happen there. I'm gonna take no, I'm not gonna take it with that. Let's see. I'm happy with the sky. Yeah, happy with the happy. bottom of the sky. Where's the cat there? I'm going to put some more things on here, but I need to wait till it's dry. Not a lot. I think down in here. I need to put some little stick feels. Paint them and then tap them. That's what I'm going for. Paint then tap to make the bird nest feels. No particular way. No particular order. Paint and tap. Oh, you're at 20,000 marks now. Thank you. And I think this one's done. I think it's done. What do you think, honey? I think it's done. Um, I want to outline her hair. So let's tell our story now. And I have ever I'm going to pull you way back up here. Eh, up high enough so you can see everything going on. Okay. I might have some of these pages out of order. Lady of the Leaves. Written and illustrated by Priscilla Holliston. That's me. And if you look on here, you'll see the little door. So we've all heard of Jack Frost. He paints our winters beautifully. But who paints the leaves? Who brings us the leaves? So this is our story in a nutshell. I want to introduce you to the Lady of the Leaves. And see, that's a nutshell. Now we have to start. This one belongs here. We have to start at the bottom. And at the very bottom is a fairy door that grown-ups can't see because we forget to see the magic. Some children can see this. All the animals can can see this. Grown-ups cannot see this. We can because we can see the magic. So inside the fairy door, oh wait. <laughs> In a nutshell. <laughs> inside our fairy door if we step inside we're in the home of lady of the leaves now all the leaves are waiting for her to wake up because the late the lady sleeps for three seasons every year she only wakes up for fall she's been sleeping so long a spider made a little web over her hot cocoa and when she gets up she stretches, grabs an apple, grabs her magic painting stick, and she sings an enchanted tune the, after she puts her cap on off of her off of her cap hat, hat rack. And this is all the story is going to be in rhyming poem. <laughs> I have to do it like this. I've been thinking of certain things. So she sings, she's conducting their the little music here to get them all to come down. The leaves are her camouflage and her clothing. And the leaves call her Milady. That's That will come later in the story. Probably right now. Hello, Milady. Did you have a good sleep? <laughs> 
and that's the first cheeky little leaf that lands on her cap. So she has a conversation with him while the rest of her fill up her outfit. Rest of the leaves fill up her outfit until she's fully dressed and she's ready to go outside. So when she leaves her her fairy house down here, the leaves take her as quick as a blink of an eye up to the tree where she hides because humans she has to hide from the humans. They can't see the magic but they can see the leaves changing and humans love to go leaf peeping so she has to be careful. So as she's painting the leaves with her magic stick all she has to do is touch them and when she touches them leaves are quite ticklish so there's a lot of giggling going on and she has to touch them over and over and over again as the leaf as the leaves change from green to yellow to orange to red on her tree before they all leave so now she's been working all day beautiful sunny day it's her first day out her first day up so she decides because it gets quite warm and she decides she's been working so hard she's gonna take a rest she finds a bird nest that the birds have gone they've raised their babies and flown they were cardinals by the way i have to look up that cardinals have a nest we have nest of cardinals at our place so the cardinals have left the nest so she lays down for a nap and when she lays down for a nap all the little leaves take position around her to stay to stay straight so they won't crumble and to protect her from prying eyes. But what they can't protect her from is the coming storm. It's gonna rain. <laughs> and that's how our little lady gets discovered. And maybe they sing her the maybe they sing her a little lullaby to put her to sleep before they all go to sleep. I don't know. That's our story so far. I'm reckoning it's going to be about 24 pages. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. We have 12 pages done. That's two days. In two days, honey. Mm -hmm. Two days, we have 12 pages. Oh, if I was even working for a publisher, I would be very proud of that. And I have worked on a pub publishing, publishing things before, and I don't like deadlines, but I'm loving this. I want to show everybody the process of how you write, illustrate, publish a book. You could you can follow along and do this with me. So um, all of these lives are going to be uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you don't follow our YouTube channel yet, now would be a good time. The name is the same on all of our social media. And if you go to the link in our bio, wherever that might be, you will see that. And these lives are all numbered and they're all going to be forever on there. So Kimberly's asking what page are we doing next. So the next page, which I'll start on our next live, the next page is where the action starts. The, um, the next page is big raindrops, big on the leaves, I think. I think they'll hit the leaves before they hit her. And um, that's dry enough now. I can put her hair in. Her little chunky hair. Little hair chunks. I like, I like to, um, there's a song Jimmy Buffett sang. And there's a line in it. Say what you mean, mean what you say. And I like to, when I say I'm going to do something, I like to do it. I love to do it. So I want to encourage everybody to get creative with me. 
get creative, put on your caps, and let's do this. No excuses. Let's get creative. Let's write a book and publish a book. Tomorrow, I will paint again live, probably a lot, and um, I'm going to make a little TikTok right now and go over the story again. If you want to see that, thank you for being here, everybody. And look at look at this stand that I have now to hold you in. I love it. It works great. I love it. I can clamp my clamp my camera there and um, get you right in the action. And uh, Morton, you want to say nighty night? Nighty night, everybody. And thank you, everybody. Thank you to all our lovely fam members. All of our we got a, we got a couple new. Um, subscribers. subscribers on this live. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking you following and watching our TikToks. It means the world to us. Um, have a beautiful night. Good night, Cambria. Thank you, everybody. And uh, we will we'll be back again doing it tomorrow. I want to finish this and publish this before we leave to go home. Okay, we go Sunday. home a Thank week you. a week on Sunday. So we're gonna we're gonna finish this and publish I'm, this I'm before back. we go home. Cambria, thank you. And good night, everybody. Thank you for being such a special part of this, making this happen. Nighty thank you. night. Thank you, everybody. Nighty night. Bye bye.